Right, what we're looking at here is doing the cutting plane of this left view. Um, there I am standing in the picture looking across. I'm going to be removing this part of the regular cone and uh, I'm going to be looking at getting that cutting plane. You'll see that I drew a 45 degree line in over here um, and I have transferred all of the points of the cutting plane across and I've also taken point 10 and point 4 across to the cutting plane, I mean to the 45 degree line. Just going to take that one up over there. So there's 4 and there's 10 over there. I also need to take across this point 0, take that across there and take that up all the way up there. The reason why I need that is that I need to find the apex of this thing. I'm going to take a line coming across from the apex up here. There it is. And I can label that as zero. Right. Um, let's just have a look and see what points I need. Well, you can see that 10 and E over here are linked together. So I go along here, I rush along that line over there, I take that up over there, and I'm going to try and find where E is over there. There is point E over there. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing for F. Okay, there is point F over there. Take that across, take that up over there. There's F over there. And I can label that F. I know that point E, point 10, and point 0 should all be in line. You can see 0, E, and 10. They're all in line. And I can draw a line in going from E to 10 straight away because it's an edge. The same story going for, from 4 to F to 0. They're all in line. 4 to F to 0. You can see that they're all in line over there. And I can draw that in because that is an edge. Right, what we're going to look at here is getting that cutting plane drawn in. Um, well, the traditional way would be to take measurements from here, take it across to the new x, y axis and place that down over there. And that would give me, well, that one was B over there. And I can do the same thing for A, taking that from the x, y axis to A, come across here to the new x, y axis, place it down over there. And I've got A over there. Okay, A, or I can just follow these lines going to the 45 degree. There is B over there, take it across, go up, there's B, there's A, take it across, go up, there's A. Um, then we go to C and D, okay, there's C, take it across, go up over here. Where is C? There is C over there, so I can label that as C, D, take it across go up over here, there's D, and I can label that as D over there. Um, let's go to E and F, we've already found that. H, take it across, go up over here, there is H over there. Um, J, take it across, go up over there. K, take it across, go up over there, there's K. Um, I, take it across, go up over there, there's I. G, take it across, go up over there, there's G. And once I've got those points in place, um, I can then draw in my cutting plan over here. There's something like this, dash, 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 dash. Just getting it in place so that I can see whether it looks correct. There it is, coming around. And I can now draw in my cutting plane just with a nice freehand curve, or you can use your French curves, which would take you a bit longer. And if you've been practicing, you should be able to get that. Don't forget to draw in the base nice and dark as well. And uh, we need to hatch that part very quickly using our set square. There we go, hatching done. There's my left view. If I was standing over there looking across, I would be able to see that cutting plane with that part taken away.
Right, the next video, I will show you how to get the true shape of the cutting plane.